Hello everyone, it's Vonic Zombie. Welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. So in the last episode, we found the key through the sculptor's workshop for the key to his house. So let's enter. Hello. Oh. Have a journal entry. Sculptor's house. Chaos rules in this house. Fragments of marble are scattered everywhere, and the food has gone bad. It seems Ned was trying to die from starvation. Poor man couldn't deal with the death of his wife. Okay. That's a gun. Okay, again, there's more commentary from our character. Ned had a gun? Sorrow and despair led him to the brink of suicide. Forgive me, darling. I cannot live without you. I'm hoping against hope that the statue will bring you, will return you to me. Oh, so that statue is of his wife. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, let's see. Okay, we need. Place each skull where it belongs. To move a skull, click on it. Okay, so this one goes here, this one goes here, and this one has to go here. Okay. There we go. Okay, we have another portrait. Looks like his wife was part of the family. Grindstone. Something else we need. And looks like that's it from the scene. Mr. Stark dies of an unknown cause. A neighbor of Ned Stark said the sculptor went insane after his wife's death and became obsessed with resurrecting her. Stark stopped seeing other people and refused to eat or drink the food concerned, concerned neighbors brought to him. Local authorities asked the police for help getting into Stark's house, but it was too late. The sculptor had, ar had already died, had already did, had already, was already, oh, was already dead. His body lying next to a statue of Sylvia Stark. They said the statue was the most beautiful thing they'd seen. The cause of Ned's death remains unknown. There's so many different stories interlooping between these characters. It's really great. There's a moose head. Something in his mouth. Let's grab that, and that's a key. Diamond shaped key. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, so we have, we can do stuff in his workshop with the grindstone that we got. Assemble the grinder. Okay, this is going to be tricky. There. <laughs> okay. Sharpen just about anything. I mean, we have a knife, but I don't think that's what we need to sharpen. Okay. Where else can we go? Let's go to the portrait room to put the portraits back on the wall. Okay.
Now we can go to... Okay, statue... Mm, statue of Sylvia. Now I know what killed Ned. Anguish! He died while trying to replicate his wife's beauty in the form of a statue. He succeeded, but he paid a terrible price to do so. So where's the statue of Sylvia? In the house? Yeah, it's that creepy one in the dining room. Okay, go to the cellar. There's a hidden object scene. Well, those, where's the diamond shaped? Okay, there's a portrait. There's a dustpan. Looks like that's about it. So let's do the hidden object scene. There we go. We have logs. Okay, so that means we are definitely on our way back to the dining room. Let's go back to the portrait wall. Go. Okay, building up that side of the family. <laughs> and sculptor's yard, the workshop. Let's go back to the workshop. There's another hidden object scene. There's a seashell. And there's a shovel. And we have a shovel. So we can dig through this now. No? Okay. Dustpan. There we go. Oh, there's a stone we need. That means we can go out here. Please don't be zombies. Incredible! Can you really see me? I'm so glad. Perhaps you'll be able to help me. After my wife Sylvia died, I tried to recreate her face in marble, but I failed. I couldn't make the cold, dead stone look like she did. The face looked like any other bust. After several sleepless weeks, I went mad. I dug up my wife's grave, took her skull, and used it as a model for the head of my statue. Since then, I've been unable to find peace or Sylvia's soul. Please return Sylvia's skull to its grave. Oh, that's why we saw the skull in the statue. Ugh, that's... that's morbid. Sculptor's ghost. My lord, I can barely fathom what ma what that madman did. He dug up his wife's grave and, grave and used her skull as a model for the statue. Are her bones inside the statue? If so, I must return them to the grave. Okay, looks like we need to break apart that statue. Fast travel! But, looks like we're not going far. Okay, so we still have stuff to do in the cemetery. Did Ned really dig up his wife's grave and take the skull? There's only one way to find out. Oh god. That's a hatchet. That's an axe, but... Ugh. Okay, one of the stone figures is missing. Okay. We are going grave robbing. <laughs> but let's see if we can. Okay, so. Go back to the yard. Someone used to cut firewood here. Oh, logs. Now we can have the axe. 
Esper Salon is probably dull. Oh, sharpen it. Why was an axe buried with his wife? Or buried on, put on top of her grave? Okay, there's a hidden object sitting there. But, chop, we chop. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. There we go. Nope. There we go. Yay. Oh, really? <laughs> so much wood. Go. Okay, so this is the most wood I've cut in any sense of the word. I've never cut wood um, in real life. Okay, can't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, there we go. We now have a nice collection of firewood. There we go. And we have the stone figurine. Okay, let's dig up your wife. Arrange the figurines in a horizontal row along the center of the puzzle. Clicking on one figurine moves multiple figurines. Of course it does. Okay. There we go. And their eyes are glowing red. Oh! She doesn't have a head. Does not have a head. Do I have to look at that? Oh. It's Sylvia's headless body. It really did take her skull. And now the souls cannot rest. I must return the skull. Oh, God. Well, that'll give me nightmares. Okay. So, yeah, we have to go back to the kitchen. What's in his house that we need to deal with? Okay, so something. Oh, this thing needs a key. Is that it? Yes. So, another portrait. And valve handle. Is there anything else? No. Okay. back to the portrait room Put this up here okay now we can go to the kitchen firewood lighter so what does that do cook something Ah, valve. Is that water? Okay. Pot of water. Put that on top. Do I put the apple in? No. Pot of boiling water. Okay. Ah, melt the pickaxe. And then we can use the pickaxe to break open the statue and get the skull. Right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what we do. Here we go, pickaxe. Yes, dining hall. So, psychic, you're probably about to see. Ugh. That's what it was showing us. Bam! Oh. You have a skull.
So what was up with us seeing this? Okay. But we can go back to the cemetery and return the skull. That poor man. This poor woman! There. Oh. So that's it, you're not gonna give him a word that, uh, you know, he kinda decapitated your head after you were dead? Okay, I guess not. You're really smart. I didn't expect you to be so brave and quick-witted. Everything has transpired as Gabriel said it would. Thank you for your help, young lady. My headache is gone, and I feel much better. That's the alcohol doing its work. Okay, we have a hidden object scene. Oh, okay. It's like a rusty looking razor. Okay, we have a triangle key. Cellar with all the different locked things. Where's the triangle? Down here. Okay. Cut this bag. Do we use the mouse? No. That was in a different game where you can use a mouse to open a bag. We do have a knife. We have seed. Not gonna take the whole bag? Okay. Okay, we will find out what we're gonna be using all of these things for in the next episode, hopefully. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!